Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's Andrea, AKB Bags, and uh, thank you for joining me on this wintry negative degree day. <laughs> I'm sure that the whole country is in a a cold chill right now, but anyway, so I wanted to do my most used 2022 bags. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. My first bag would be this Coach uh, Chambray, and it's a shoulder bag, and I think it came out a couple of years ago. I bought it off of a uh, Facebook group for an excellent deal, um, and yeah, I use this a lot. Um, these pockets are handy for hand sanitizer and lip gloss or chapstick and um, I didn't use this strap as much. Um, I would use, I replaced it with my Coach Emery, um, strap that I bought the alternative straps for. So I thought this looked good with it. So I'd wear it as a crossbody a lot of times. And it's just so soft and the denim was the rage, I think, this year. But this one was so cute. Again, I got it for probably $125 um, on a Facebook group, and I have loved it, worth every penny. I love that it has <clears throat> this little pull zipper pull. I think that's so cute. It adds to the bag, in my opinion, but just a quick look inside. It's got the maroon interior and I have it stuffed but yeah it just has a pocket there but yeah here's the inside it's that maroon color interior and here is the tag that it came with I believe it's called the chambray signature cargo bag super cute not sure when it came out but yeah it's very comfortable as a shoulder or the crossbody fits a good amount love the little hang tag on it with the c the brass color i love the brass i don't like the shiny i love the brass um on coach hardware it's so nice so that would be number one most used, and typically with this strap. This next one won't be of any surprise if you've been watching my channel at all. I am definitely always in and out of this Coach Dempsey carry-all. I get so many questions on it, and I think people would like Coach to bring this bag back in this size they of course have the 22 which is the smaller size but this one this black shiny pebbled leather it's held up really nice i mean and it has the feet on the bottom it's such a pretty bag and it's understated with the coach logo right there so you really can't tell but i love that you can do it top handle it fits a little more than your everyday essentials. It is superb. <laughs> so glad I got it. Um, and there's the inside. And of course you can do this as a shoulder strap. That's typically what I did with this bag. And it has a zipper pocket. And it has two slip pockets. Which I like that it has this stitched up where there's two individual pockets on that side. It just has black interior, a magnetic closure, which is amazing closure. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites in not leaving my collection and definitely a most used bag this year. My number three happens to be more of a weekend bag and I kept grabbing it and grabbing it and grabbing it a lot this year, which was my Walmart dupe. 
and you can check out my video on this. It has no, you know, it's not Louis Vuitton. It's no markings on it, just white checkered with the chain. It looks familiar um, to the uh, favorite MM, and I think that's what size this is. But, again, it's just an inspired or a dupe, I guess, bag, and... Yeah, it's not perfect. Uh, there's some thread coming out that I could get cut off that, but it's been a really fun bag to use. I just realized there's some coloring transfer from the inside of the bag happening. Well, that's not cool, but again, it was really cheap on Walmart site, and look at this gold chain. It's very pretty, and it's just a... Uh, a crossbody with their vachetta looking strap and there's the interior yeah I didn't realize that uh, the color of the inside was coming out through the side here I don't know if you can see but it's real faint I'm still gonna use it but again it was just a Walmart bag and it's a great weekend bag just when you're on the go real quick crossbody, this is the bag that I had been going to a lot. So that's number three. Number four is a hobo style that I had gotten from my sister-in-law, Lindsay. Shout out to Lindsay. This bag is so comfortable on your shoulder. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's in that pretty saddle color. Um, leather with the signature C's, you know, big chunky zipper. Look how thick that zipper is. Has the hang tag like usual. And then it has a back pocket, which we all love too. You can put your phone in there. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. <laughs> I don't know if I put my phone in there, but yeah. The 12 Pro Max fits in the back pocket like that. So yeah, I don't know what this is called. If you know, drop it down in the comments. But it's such a comfortable bag. I'm so glad that she gave it to me. Um, but yeah, the, the zipper is the chunkiest, biggest zipper I've ever seen. But there's the inside. has two pockets like I like. Separated pockets is always a good thing in my opinion. It has a brown interior and there's the coach uh, creed back there and it has a zipper pocket but it's just the perfect size. It, it does come with a crossbody strap. I just don't use it. Um, I love the, the shoulder drop on it. So if you ever find one like this I would grab it because it is a super comfortable carry for every day for sure. Let me tell you the drop. It's a 9 inch drop. That seems to be the perfect drop is 9 inch. So yeah, definitely most used number 4 of my bags. Number 5 is a Louis Vuitton. And this bag... <laughs> It's a shoulder bag, and it is, let me get it out for you, my Viva City GM with this Vachetta strap. Um, yeah, it has the, the two pockets with the magnets that find each other. Perfect, again, for your cell phone. Any size, boom, and it fits. Yeah, love, love, love this bag. It's so comfortable. This, you know, strap is thicker, and it does slide off a little bit, but honestly, I love this bag. No regrets at all buying this. It has that thicker Vachetta, or not Vachetta, canvas material, because it's an older style, real thick. Uh, let me, and then these just rotate, the handle just rotates. Nice, smooth zipper. Again, with the, I mean, very little tarnish on the hardware. Let me get the paper out. <clears throat> and then there's the interior. It has the little 
cell phone pocket from back in the day and then a bigger pocket and I got this second hand on fashion file and it is a really good size comfortable easy access to your items um, yeah the zipper is smooth I definitely have been in and out of this bag a lot depending on the weather but because I don't want to ruin these the shoulder strap but it is such a great if you're thinking about getting a vintage Louis Vuitton highly recommend the Viva City GM and again yeah magnet front details finds themselves perfectly yeah this this definitely is a most my number one most used bag of the year so I hope you enjoyed my collection of my top five used and I uh, appreciate a like and a comment tell me what your favorite one that I just showed you is and I will talk to y'all soon and later ha Merry Christmas bye